Just a short distance away from the Columbia River sits a hazardous remnant from the Cold War. Building 324 served as a research and development facility where employees conducted studies on highly radioactive materials. Just north of the city of Richland sits the 300 area. That's where fuel rods were produced and sent to one of nine reactors on the Hanford site for eventual plutonium production. During the past decade, more than 170 buildings in the 300 area were demolished. A few remain, including building 324. So in 2010, we were on a path for building demolition. Uh, we had completed some of our deactivation activities and we were moving very quickly. When we discovered or verified that there was a spill beneath B cell, once we uh, validated the numbers and the extent of the contamination plume under B cell in the late in 2010, we discontinued all demolition activities. Today, the U.S. Department of Energy Richland Operations Office and contractor CH2M Hill Plateau Remediation Company are responsible for the safe and compliant management of the building and for removing the highly contaminated soil beneath it to eventually allow for the building's demolition. The soil is so contaminated you would receive a lethal dose within two minutes. Okay, we have high levels of contamination, high levels of radiation. The equipment's going to have to function in an environment that's going to be harsh. We've got close working conditions, workers in uh, multiple layers of PPE in a challenging space constrained environment. We have to maintain the building structure while we're doing the work because we need the facility to function. We need the facility equipment to function during the, during the plan. And so there's a lot of complicating factors to this project that are unique. The hazards are so great, crews will install remote operated equipment into B cell to perform this work. A remote excavator arm will first break through six inches of grout on the floor. A remote operated saw will cut through the floor's stainless steel liner and the concrete beneath, exposing the soil beneath the floor. The remote excavator arm will then remove the soil around the perimeter of the hot cell. That's where the most highly contaminated soil is believed to be due to leaks through seams around the perimeter of the stainless steel floor liner. Once the remote excavator arm removes the soil, grout will fill the void and help stabilize the building. Crews plan to remove up to 10 feet of soil from beneath B cell. The debris with the highest radioactivity will be placed in the nearby hot cells where it will be grouted and removed whole during future building demolition for eventual disposal to the Hanford Sites Regulated Landfill. Less radioactive soil will go directly to the Hanford Sites Regulated Landfill. To ensure the building can support this project, structural support around B cell will be required. Operations crews are also focused on maintaining decades-old ventilation, fire, and other systems. What you see here is the replication of the airlock area of the 324 building. In the background, you see the, the B cell and the entry to the B cell. Work to develop the tools, technology, and processes to do that extremely hazardous work goes on here. This mock-up represents key aspects of the 324 building hot cell area. The, the mock-up will really allow us to practice and train not, and to ensure that the equipment functions the way we expect it to, that the operators understand how to operate the equipment correctly and efficiently, um, and allow us to look at how we can maximize our ability to safely deliver this project in the unique environment. This is complex work beginning with installing and testing equipment in the mock-up. Back at Building 324, crews in multiple layers of protective gear will perform the extremely hazardous job of cleaning out debris from the airlock and hot cells to prepare for soil removal. Once preparations are complete and crews are trained, removal of the hazardous soil will start. There's a lot of unique aspects of this project that really raise the energy level of the team and really attract the best. Fulfilling a cleanup priority for the Department of Energy, stakeholders, regulators, and the community members who live nearby.